Hello, my name is Tobias and I'm the co-founder of Supernotes and today I'm going to give you a quick introduction into creating a card hierarchy where you can have parent cards and child cards. So hopefully by this point you've already made a few cards. If you haven't, have a look at some of our other guys, but they'll be really helpful to get you started. I'll pop a link for them down below. Um, so here you see well, I already have a bit of a hierarchy. You can see that I've got um, you know, a code and you can see there's some child cards, MATLAB and C++. You know, I see a daily to-do, I have a few things already. And a hierarchy is really easy to create. It's, it's all, you know, the, the whole card format makes it really, really simple. So actually, I've got um, this card called MATLAB. That was my module, one of my modules in university. I have Fluid Mechanics, another module from university. So I might want to have a university card which houses all of that, all of that content. So let's create that now. So I'm going to create the uni card. Then I might want to actually give the uni card a nice icon. So let's see if there's any nice university icons. Oh, there is. Look at that. Beautiful. And then, you know, this, this houses all of my university notes. And you can also use your parent cards quite uniquely. You know, you could have a to-do list for all the things you have to do for university and then have the, you know, the child cards in there. Um, so yeah, really nice. So then I finished the card and that's perfect. So now I've established the parent card. So now let's go and add some things to it. So let's go press here in the plus and then let's look for university and the parents. So let's go for parent and then let's type in uni and then bang, you can see as soon as I've added it, you'll add it there. But hang on, I went a bit quickly there. Let's look at that again. So if I can remove a parent by cutting it. So I click that there, it's gone. And so let's go into that in a bit more detail. So if I search university again, you can see there's two different things you can do. There's publish and there's unlisted. So publish means you don't have to worry too much about this for now, it's more to do with sharing, but that means that whenever, if you ever share this parent in the future, anyone you share that with will be able to see the child cards. So that's really useful if you like sharing a lecture and you have, you have a parent card for the lecture and then all of your child cards underneath, and in one go that someone can have access to 20 or so cards. Or you might want to create this child as an unlisted child. So whenever you share the parent, no one else will be able to see it unless you add them specifically. So that's, again, really helpful. Unlisted is also very useful for drafts. So when you don't, we're not ready to share that card yet, really, really useful. But we, we're not going to share too much today. So for now, we're just going to keep it as publishing. Best thing to do. And you can see the parents added there. You can always switch it after the fact using the switch here. Um, but that for now, you should, we should have it like that. You can then assign a role. Again, I'll go on to that a bit later. And you can hide a card as well. That means that if you don't want to see this particular card inside um, Hierarchy, there's that button there for you as well. So really, really simple. And as soon as you finish a card, and only when you finish a card, will, it, will the changes be applied. So let's finish the card. And now you'll see that University has one child card inside it. And that's a little, that's a little uh, just, that's noted there. Let's add a few more. Um, actually, I've got that card called MATLAB. So let's search for MATLAB. Oh, there you go, there's MATLAB. And see, MATLAB itself has two cards inside it. So now you get this really cool hierarchy. And let's add a parent that is uni. So again, really, really simple, really easy. Finish, and now university, if I click it, will have two children inside it. But you notice, actually, that university is not in the sidebar, and this is quite annoying. And the reason that we do this is that the only cards that are really relevant to you will be in the sidebar. So if you ever open university, so if I now find, if I now remove this filter, and then I look for university again, and if I click it once, the title, it can show me the preview. If I open it, it'll then add it into the sidebar. So basically, will, only things that you've opened or specifically added in the sidebar by using the, the index button will be added there. So that means that you know when you have hundreds and hundreds of cards, your sidebar doesn't get cluttered with lots of information. So that's a really basic introduction to sort of hierarchy creating and building. I hope you enjoy Supernotes. Mm -hmm.